All right, how's everyone doing? Thanks for tuning in to the Rich Chalenza Show. WTF are you talking about? With Rhea. I got Rhea Lokes as a guest again. Um, <laughs> Why am I a guest? What are you then? Here. Yeah, no shit, you're here. You're a guest <laughs> on my show. It's not the Rich and Rhea Show. It is the Rich and Rhea no, Show No, it's tonight. not. It's the Rich Chalenza it Show. WTF are you talking about? Show. Listen, you hear her singing. She just watched Curb Your Enthusiasm, so you may hear some stupid tones. <laughs> it makes me laugh. All right, so today's podcast is basically I'm calling out people's bullshit, which is what I like to do anyways on a lot of my YouTube videos and podcasts. This one is going to be about people who claim they're always busy when in reality they're not. It's true. So I usually hit Rhea off. The cuff with these. What do you mm-hmm. think about this, Rhea? Well, people are always saying that they don't plan things with us because we're always too busy, right? Which is not the truth. Right. Uh, I think that, you know, some people just can't, I don't know if they're non-committal to do stuff. I don't know. It's just very funny. I think they just find something better to do. With someone else besides us? I guess. I mean, I, I'll be I'll be honest. I mean, I've made plans with people, but, you know, I've canceled, but I've been always very honest about the reasons why I've canceled, right? But, right. you know, there are those people where I, I've always said, hey, let's get together sometime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they never do. Or I don't know what they're doing that's so busy. And that's why I always say, I really have no girlfriends. Really? I do. I don't. I don't have any girlfriends here in Orlando. Really? I don't. It's kind of sad. I got a bunch of buddies, and I do see them once in a while. But what I what I will admit, and Rhea can contest to this, and I think it happens to her as well with family members, friends, colleagues. Oh, God. Let's is go when you're traveling, <laughs> everybody can't wait till you get back to do something with you. Right? Then you get back, and nobody has time for you. It happens all constantly. The time. No matter, it, and then they flip it on me and say, "Listen, you never have time for us because you're always gone." And then I said, "Yeah, but when I'm back home, I'm not working, most likely." Then they never have time. So even when you kind of want to schedule something when you're gone or here, I, I think it's just something to make people feel like they still love you and like you, but they don't want to spend time with you. It's so true. It always happens to me. Um, I, and I'll, I'll go there. Should I just go there? I don't know where you're going. I'm going, okay. So I'm very fortunate that, you know, with my job, I can travel for work. And I get to go to, to you know, um, a lot of different places. Yeah. And my one of the areas I get to go to is Naples. Yeah. And my sister and my niece and nephew. You're going there? I am going there. Oh, my God. This whole thing's going to blow it's up in your po- face. Uh, you know, and I go there, and um, it's like, it's very difficult to make plans with my sister sometimes. She's a middle sister, honey. I know. And her husband. And, you know, in the years I've gone down to Naples, I've been to their house once. Wow, you're throwing your sister under the bus. Uh, you know, I just think that it's a great example of... Why are you so busy and I can come down there once a month for work and make time? Uh, You know, I just think, you know, especially now with what's, you know, everything that's going on in the world, you got to make time for people, you know, and look what happened to us last year. This is very sad and I'll go here also. What is it? We lost a couple friends. Yeah, it's true. uh, Last year where we always were saying, I know you were saying, and the telling time. them, hey, we got to get together for coffee. Hey, we got to do this. And it never happened. And I'm telling you, you know what? You got to make the time. Even sure. if it's just for a quick moment. Even if it's a phone call, right? Here's another thing. <laughs> I have friends on the West Coast. Yeah. And it's like, oh, the time difference is so difficult. Well, you know what? That's bullshit. Yeah. Give me a break. You know, I mean... If people want to make time out for you, regardless if it's a phone call, text, or yeah, see you, they will. They will. Right. You know, like, I you know, I do have, and I will say this, you know, my um, one of my best friends is um, in Portland. Yeah. I'll tell you this, she does. She makes time. 
you know, and it's very weird because we have this, I don't know, connection or something. Whenever she know, whenever I need to talk to her, you know, I need someone or, you know, something, she, swear to God, my phone rings. But I think yeah. just going back to, you know, people are quote unquote too busy. They're full of shit. Are, are they really? Are you really? I mean, what am I doing when I'm at home? Well, I will say this, though. What? In your sister's defense, which this is just, I think, sometimes what happens living in Florida, living in Orlando for a majority of my life, even San Diego, is when people do come to visit you a lot of times in these type of places, um, I can't see your, whatever. It's, I think a lot of people come and they expect for you to have a lot of free time, especially if they come on vacation, right? Mm -hmm. And those type of things, which you don't always have. Right now, if somebody mm-hmm. gives you a heads up and says in six months I'm coming there, but a lot of times lately in the last few years, people are traveling so much. Mm-hmm. So you'll just find out in a couple of weeks they'll be like, "Hey, let's do Disney or let's do Universal, let's do this, let's go to." I'm in South Beach. We have this happen all the time, right? Yeah. Or I'm here or yeah. there, and they kind of, and then you don't have time for them. And I know when I travel so much myself, mm-hmm. I realized about myself is I wasn't sometimes giving people enough heads up. They call me the last minute guy, and it was true. Mm-hmm. A lot of times I would fly into certain places I knew a week or two ahead of time, but I didn't want to set something up because just in case my schedule changed or I had to do something else yeah, or work then, changed. But right. then, I, but there you, but you're also. I, I know we talked about. I I think that you, yeah, you are so guilty of that of like you know because yes. I see like I see like when you post something on Facebook when you're traveling and then someone always says. Dude, I didn't know you were in town. But, you know, here's the thing, too, is um, when people... Like, I've had a lot of sorority sisters or, or people who've given me the heads up that they're coming to Orlando. Yeah. I've been able to see quite yeah, a right. few of them. Yeah. If they tell me, I can rearrange my schedule. I mean, I've met up with one at Universal. I've met up with one at Disney. I mean, you know, I will. I will do that to make time you know and we've seen um my friend john a couple times too like we've had dinner right and yeah. then you know um i think that it's really you know important to make the time but sometimes when i've wanted to make plans with others there seems to always be a catch are you a bitch what i don't do you think? I, well yeah i think i am sometimes right i mean I, you know and I, yeah i'm not I'm not always easy, but, you know, as far as, you know, when I have friends come or things like that, I will always make the time. Right. You know, like recently, even as this is kind of sad, my, you know, Lisa and her kids were going to come for spring break and I knew months of months and months of, you know, um, ahead of schedule. Right. We planned, you know, certain days together, right. you know, and because of all the, you know, closures and everything with Disney closing, she had to cancel. And it's it's heartbreaking, but you know, again, you know, the kids got the time off and all that stuff. So yeah. I think that. Um, well, I think also a lot of people don't like to spend money, and yeah, they claim they that's, do. That's true. I mean, the truth yeah, when yeah, you catch yeah. them, when you don't catch them, like a lot of times, yeah. we have tons of friends that always say, "Let's meet out for dinner." When you get to town, you and Rhea have time, and you can sometimes tell. Especially if you're mentioning certain restaurants they don't yeah. want to necessarily do. Yeah. Or they just don't like certain types of foods you like. So there always is that. Even in going to the movies with friends. Even saying all of a sudden it's they don't like this type of movie. They don't like this, that. It's almost like they're, they're sometimes coming up with an excuse why they don't want to do something. Specifically, I mean... Yeah, I mean, just be. I mean, just be honest. Yeah, I think you know? that's have to bet right there. Just be. Just be on- honest. Yeah. Because I think that, um, <clears throat> you know, I've always. I will say this. You know, like my um, two besties, my work besties. You know, we we make time at least at least once a year to get together. Right. And um, you know, I think that the one reason why it works. Is because the three of us are very honest with each other about number one, what we want to do, how much money we want to spend together, right. you know, when we want to get together. And I think we're so brutally honest with each other that, you know, you have to be, you know, and we're all in, you know, different ages, um, you know, uh, and, 
you can be so flexible to a point, that's fine. But I think that you have to be honest with your friends or the people that you want to get together with um, instead of just kind of making the excuse of, um, eh, I'm too busy or whatever. You know, you don't want to Or not even responding to or texts. Not e- oh, my God. That's the yeah. worst. I mean, have some common courtesy. Yeah. Just with my friends, I'll just literally say I'm stiffing you tonight. So some of our friends want to go to right, Portillo's right, 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 on right, a certain right. day. I that. said, listen, no. I had Portillo's for the last... I mean, the last 10 days, I had it four times. I'm stiffing you pissed off. Yeah. And then they get huffy puffy with me, but they understand I'm just being blunt with them. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But I realized too when I travel, this was just my situation, and I mm-hmm. think other people fall into this, is we have favorites, right? So even say I have a lot of family in Arizona. I found myself for many, many years only visiting oh, right. certain cousins right. or relatives. But yeah. what was interesting is I wanted to see all my other relatives but I just wasn't taking the time. Right. And I was kind of caught between not wanting to stiff some of my cousins that I'm very close with. But at this other time, I'm missing my other ones. Right. I, I really found myself favoring them. And then I also didn't want to like go there and not see the ones that I'm very close with and start spending time with the other ones and not having time for the others, I guess you could say. So you kind of get caught in those situations, which I finally had to say, listen, I... I want to see whoever I want to see and I want to make it work. And by making it work and scheduling it, I made it work. And you were even part of that sometimes. Right. Yeah, I was. I mean, even when we go to Chicago, I mean, yeah. that's where it gets really tricky because there's so a lot of family. It's massive. You know, and how how do you, you know, determine? And But you know what the nice thing too is when we've gone to Chicago, I've even been able to see my friends. Or, you know, people that I know. So I think that you have to make it work and you have to be honest with the people involved because if you, you know, like you were just saying, you know, um, to pick and choose. um, Well, we do. We do. But, you you know, but that's being honest with yourself, right? So. I think you need to get creative, too. So if we take Chicago, for instance, I have a massive family. Right. There's, I could literally spend a week just driving from one person's house to another when you have hundreds of cousins, right. aunts and uncles yep. living all over Illinois. Yeah, yeah. And the truth is a lot of times, like if I want to see my aunts, uncles or a certain group, you make the time to say, hey, let's all meet at this place at this time. It could be a restaurant, someone's house. It right. could be whatever right. it is, right? Right. It could be like, you know, if I want to see all my buddies like I just did in Chicago, we make a night and I said, let's just all do this Right, right. at that night, right? You kind of right. schedule it a little bit, sure. but you, and then some are going to make it, some aren't. Right. But I think that's the best way to do things than getting caught up individually meeting people right. and mm-hmm. like, and saying, I'm going to go to this person's house, this one, because it exhausts you. And, uh, it does, but I still think most people out there claiming they're busy back to that, especially with work. Yeah. They claim they're working a lot harder than they are. They're full of shit. They claim they don't have time to work out when they do have a lot of time. What really aggravates me is so many people use their kids as, as an excuse. Yeah. And I think it starts yeah. off as a baby where it's always, uh, my kid's sick, my baby's... And don't get me wrong. I get it. We It takes oh, yeah. a lot. It takes a lot of time and effort to raise children and stuff. But it does come a point where you you're kind of sending the signal that you really don't want to spend a lot of times and i have a lot of jag off friends that from chicago i'll throw them under the bus that are always pretending like they want to meet up with you and you never see them but i call them out on it but then what's funny is if i have a birthday party i will say or something for my daughter say she graduates high school or something what's interesting they will all show out of respect so it kind of gets it, i will say goofing around sometimes i call them assholes but your true friends, for the most part, will always be there. I'm just kind of, you know, right. being goofy. But uh, a lot of people are always, you know, even people we work with. Jesus Christ, you talk to them, you'd swear to God they're the president of the United States. <laughs> I have a buddy. I say, I say you're busier than the president. I said, getting a hold of you or doing something with you. Right. I got better odds of, you know, anyone in the world but you. And what's funny is he's the one who's always reaching out wanting to do something. Right. So I don't know if they're nuts. What do you think, Ray? I don't know. I don't know either, but, uh, I mean, you could bullshit all you want, but I'm here to tell you probably a lot of your friends, if you are claiming you want to spend time with them and you never do behind your back, they're calling you an asshole, which is fine. Yeah, it's true. (laughs) Right. You know, we all think we're kind of bullshit each other. And again, with even me traveling and me, I can't keep visiting a certain state or a city numerous amount of times and not make time for them, especially when they see me on Facebook 
or anywhere else with these other people, which yeah. is kind of, I don't think sometimes we realize we're kind of thrown in their face because me and Rhea go through that. We have a lot of family and friends. Sometimes we don't even know our in Orlando and they'll be like, yeah, I'm over here. We're like, assholes, we're right down the street from you. We'd love oh, to that's, see you. I know. That's the worst. I yeah. hate that. But we do it to people as well sometimes I, not knowing. I get that. That's right? true. Yeah, whatever. I know. It's I Sometimes it's not intentional, but you know, the reality is we have favorites yeah. We're going to do whatever we want to do. We get a lot of times, yeah. especially Orlando, we know you're going to want to hit the Mouse Disney. We know you're going to want to hit Universal. You're most likely going to want to hit the outlets. <laughs> you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And um, so, anyways. Yeah. What do it. you think? That's, that's all it. you got that's today? That's all I got. You're not throwing anybody else under the bus? I threw a lot of people under the bus. <laughs> I'm just kidding you. <laughs> I'm just kidding you. So, yeah. That's, so, that's it. All right. That's cool. All righty then. So we're going to wrap it up there. If you get a chance, check out my YouTube channel. I'm putting up a lot of fitness stuff lately. Yeah, the gyms. gyms are closed. You didn't want to bring that up. I did With a the virus bit. a little what bit. I know, but I didn't want to talk about all of it. I didn't either. So yeah. anyways, the gyms are closed for a couple of weeks because of the, what is that thing called? Coronavirus. Yeah, but it's a special name. COVID-19. Right. So we're going to be stuck in for a couple of weeks. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I'm on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, I'm going to do maybe some more podcasts with you because you're going to be at home. Yeah, we'll do some more. Yeah, me and Ree have done some other podcasts that you may want to check out. One was on women liking porn secretively. Oh, God, let me bring that one up. That one's probably one of our most listened to. What else? I don't remember any <laughs> other one. I don't remember any of the other ones. Your, your staying healthy tips, which is ridiculous. But... Oh, the last one we did was Ugh. me... Listen through this virus. I got a lot of I tricks. It has, it's, it's nothing. Not it's not to. It has nothing to do with the virus. Okay, let's stop there. Listen, but it's tricks of the trade on how to stay healthy. Yes. And I even throw in drinking Coke. With, Whatever. With just listen to it. Just listen yeah, to so it. Yeah, so that was like number two, maybe 289 or something in that range. I don't know. I'm probably way off. Um, but anyways, if you get a chance, you definitely... I think it's called Rich's Crazy Antics when it comes to getting healthy or staying healthy. I don't know. Who the hell knows? But we'll do some new ones. That's all I got for you today. Rhea's exhausted. She's yeah. out of juice. I am. All right. Take care. And if you're traveling, safe travels. Bye.